So, uh... I am indeed. I'm at Chelsea Football Club, and I'll just okay. Stamford Bridge, the famous Stamford Bridge. So, quick, um, quick view of it. But uh, I'm really here uh, at a sports video group um, event, which is uh, which is talking quite a bit about broadcast technology, media technology. And I think this is, um, you know, sorry that uh, there might be a little bit of background noise here, but uh, this is the quietest place I could actually find, apart from it being a great backdrop. It's, it's, actually, it's actually good, Mark. We can hear you very well, uh, certainly yeah. in the room and I think online. And uh, we, we've got your slides on the screen as well. So Super. Do I control them? Uh, no, you tell me. Uh, or okay. you tell me and I'll, I'll, I'll flick them as long as you can see them. Okay, I've only got a few minutes, I know. So really, I'm, I'm, I'm setting the scene here for what, BBC Ian Wagden is going to talk about after me in terms of a very spe specific project for media and ent entertainment and also Matt Stagg to follow him from BT Sport. So if we could move to the next slide. Um, essentially, um, IBC, the International Broadcasting Convention, which holds an event for the global media and entertainment technology ecosystem every year in Amsterdam. It's some 55 years old now. Um, some 56,000 people typically attend the event from 150 countries of the world um, and they power media broadcast film technology film production uh, and increasingly esports and gaming and some of these new areas of, of media and entertainment the show has around 1700 exhibitors um, and it's owned by some of the leading bodies um, in the in the industry, in the media and entertainment industry, the IEEE, the internet, the IABM, which is the Association of uh, Broadcast Manufacturers, the Royal Television Society, and other standards bodies and making bodies in the um, in the media and broadcast space like SCUTTY and SIMPTI. So it's um, it's a convening body and it brings people together. And I think that the, the, if we can move to the next slide, Bob, um, one of the reasons that um, IBC introduced the accelerator. Um, media innovation program was really because the industry was facing a, a plethora of challenges, not least all of these great disruptive technologies um, like 5G, but also immersive technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality and, um, and things like uh, artificial intelligence and the move to the cloud, etc. The big picture digit digitization of the industry, as well as lots of other things, um, the regulatory disparity between broadcasters and online platforms and all sorts of other things. Um, the fragmentation of devices amongst consumers and platforms and direct to consumer strategies. So the, the accelerator program was devised by IBC as a framework to bring broadcasters and, and content companies, companies who create content together. Um, rather like the mobile operators do to create standards, but this is really to, to drive collaboration, um, to drive a project-based approach to solving their common pain points um, and the things that keep them awake at night. And really collaborative innovation is, is the byword for the Accelerator program. And so we have, if we could move to the next, um, next slide, Bob, thank you. Um, we have um, a project underway, which is really an evolution of, a, of an Accelerator project last year, which was um, championed by 10 broadcasters uh, looking at 5G for remote production. Um, and they delivered uh, a live broadcast over a public mobile network, over the Vodafone Ziggo network in Amsterdam, which was a world first use of AI enabled cameras transmitting over 5G. We also used drones and 5G controlled lighting. And we filmed a, a performance of an MTV singer on a boat in Amsterdam. Um, and although IBC didn't take place in Amsterdam, we were broadcasting that and other things from the show floor, which was empty to the rest of the world um, and discussing you know, kind of a, the impact of COVID on the production world. So one of the things we wanted to try and do last year was as part of that project was to deploy a private 5G network in production, but it just wasn't possible in the time scales that we had. So um, with some further development, further refinement, and a sort of a new phase of the project um, for 2021, we now have some 14 broadcasters, actually 13 broadcasters, and Vodafone involved as champions of this project um, for 2021. If you could move to the next slide. Um, and it's called 5G and innovation in live production workflows. So it's taking in um, other aspects of new technologies that are impacting positively, uh, that, that are challenges and opportunities for the broadcasters and the 14 champions I mentioned. And um, they're going to be, they've been experimenting this year with 
four work streams, including multi-access edge computing, um, looking at multi-cloud deployments and deployments sort of, of, of content between different cloud environments, and that, that 5G private network, non-public network that we didn't get to last year. And also this new kind of um, world of low Earth orbit satellites like Starlink and, um, and, and Telesat and, uh, and others that are coming along um, that haven't really cottoned on to the big opportunity with broadcasting as well. So our champions are some of the household names around the world in sports and media and broadcasting. Um, from BBC, who is leading the project to the Olympic Broadcasting Service, to uh, BT Sport, Al Jazeera, the European uh, Broadcast Union, EBU, TV2 from Denmark, and RTL from Germany, and Viacom CBS, international broadcaster, Fox Sports from the US, RTE from Ireland, Vodafone, as I mentioned, ITV from the UK, and, you know, a host, and some world-class vendors and, and technology companies as well, Microsoft, Grass Valley, and our broadcast world, Net Insight and, uh, and New Link and Zixi and Juniper Networks and last but not least, the University of Strathclyde who, um, who have really been with us in this project for a couple of years now and we're really starting to reap some rewards of, of the dialogue um, that we've been having between all of these players and with Strathclyde particularly. So we're very grateful for the work that's been done and um, Bob, if you could, if there is another slide. Um, I hope that just sets a little bit of the scene for Ian's talk about the specifics of the project. But you can see this is the accelerator program we have for this year. There are eight different projects, three of which are in the 5G space. And, you know, a world class, world leading lineup of broadcasters and media companies and technology providers and academic institutions that are involved in this accelerator program. So um, I'm sure, um, Bob, if you don't mind, if, if I just give out my email address, if anybody's interested in more information on this, but it's um, msmith at ibc.org, if you're interested uh, to hear more about it or to get involved in some way for next year. But uh, thank you very much for the time, Bob, and thank you for the opportunity and thank you for all the hard work on our on our projects. Over to you.